Well, How, however, Muhammad said that he swore on the Torah and the gospel. He did? He, yes, he did. He swore? Can you he show me that verse? He swore on the Torah and the gospel. Gonna ruin, she's going to ruin your argument. He swore on the Torah and the gospel. Ruin my argument. Yeah. No, but, she, but she, she's actually right. Yeah, he swore on the, on the, the Torah. Torah. I don't know where, but she's actually right. So she's right. So she's right, so she's right but you don't know where she, he, yeah. he said that. I, because I read it before. Oh, so you've read it before. And, yeah. and you can look it up on Christian Prince. Uh, Christian Prince, uh, he, wow. he is a Arabic You need the Old Testament. You need the New Testament. And you need what we have because we have witnesses. And the Final the Testament. Old, the Old Testament. No, because you, and the final. No, because you don't have any witnesses. Of course we do. No, you don't. Because of we do. your witness of the Final Testament goes completely against the other witnesses. No. Yes, Jesus' does. claim actually and goes against all the prophets. Jesus' message, Jesus is message Listen, contradicts everyone's. Listen. Because he's the only one who's claiming some type of divinity according to you. But no other prophet of God ever said no, that. No, that's so false. he that's is false. Technically. That's sorry. false. That's false. Sorry, sorry, that, and this is where I'm getting. This is where I'm getting. Because yeah. if you actually knew what the prophets actually said, if you actually knew what the prophets actually said in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, okay. it says, unto Woo! us, it says, unto us a child is born. Okay. Unto us a son is given. Okay. And the government shall be upon his shoulders, okay. and his name hey, shall be called hey, Wonderful, hey. Counselor, El Gabor, Mighty God, Amen, yes. Everlasting Father, oh. Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. His name shall be Mighty God. This child, this son, that would be born in this world would be called mighty God. This again, this is why you need Where's the witnesses? The wi Isaiah is the witness. Okay, so Isaiah is the witness. Isaiah is the okay. witness. Uh, Jeremiah is the witness. Okay. Zechariah is the witness. Huh? Yeah, yeah. The, the Zechariah, all the, the Old Testament screams. So you mentioned you needed to have witnesses. The reason, you, the reason you're saying witnesses is because obviously you need someone to confirm. You need someone to make sure it's not a mistake. You need, it makes sense, right? So you have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah? Can you show me the witnesses of their character? Meaning, what do we know about their characters, their original name, their lineage, right? Their lineage, everything about them and their family, so that we could confirm that the people who are bringing this gospel that you're holding on to so tight are the best of the people. So, what? what How, however, Muhammad said, that he swore on the Torah and the gospel. He did? He, yes, he did. He swore? Can you he show me that verse? He swore on the Torah and the gospel. Ruin, she's going to ruin your argument. He swore really on the Torah and the gospel. Ruin my argument. Yeah. No, but, she, but she, she's actually right. Yeah, he swore on the, on on the, the Torah. Torah. I don't know where, gospel. but she's actually right. So he she's right. So she's right, but you don't know where she, he, yeah. he said that. I, because I read it before. Oh, so you've read it before. And, yeah. and you can look it up on Christian Prince. Uh, Christian Prince, uh, he, wow. he is a Arabic person. And he... Uh, Support. Yeah, Christian there's a four, there's, there's, that shows Muhammad and Muhammad also. He uh, said he uh, received this revelation from Jibril, Jibril, Gabriel. And he said three times the angel choked him. Three wow. times he choked him. Wow. So and you're Hadith. you're you're and giving Hadith. me okay. So you're giving me from Christian Prince, who's a apologist, right? So you're learning about a religion which his channel is fully based upon making you hate Muslims and Islam. It's not, it's, it's chill, not chill, chill. Christian Prince. Muslims. He doesn't hate Muslims. Stop it. You're, you're, we're talking about two different Christians. That's not the point. So go back to my point about Luke. And, uh, go back to my point then. Muhammad, if you want to argue about character, then uh, Muhammad... Tell me his character. Tell me his character, please. Please. Muhammad... You're about to say something. At six years old, Muhammad, he physically molested her. Aisha. No, okay. Ever, he did okay. Okay. My turn. Hadith, my turn. My turn. Hadith, she said something crazy Hadith, right now. She said Hadith, something crazy right now. She said something crazy right now. Oh, cool. All right. So listen, 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 listen. So you made a very, very big claim right now. Very big claim. I want to be very clear with you all. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus. Jesus loves you too. Jesus loves you. Too. Jesus wants you to be. Um. Okay. Okay. Jesus okay. loves you too. God bless. Okay. Okay. Um, but, uh, the hadith, there is many hadith that if you look into the hadith, you will see that Muhammad's character was not that great. He uh, thought he, he um, uh, had uh, many wives, but however. So did David. So, however, however, David. He married his son's wife. He doesn't have a son. However, however, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't justify it. His son-in-law. 
every every biblical no, you every biblical about. person every biblical person sin. However, Muhammad justified his sin. Okay, that's he not justified, true. He justified yes. That's not true. Okay. He justified okay. his sin. So, so are you justifying that he slept with the nine year old? Okay, thank you. you ready? All right. So first things first. You know, may Allah bless you and guide you, man, because you came out of nowhere right now and you're just saying some really really harsh things that you don't understand. Now. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, had many enemies at the time of Mecca. He still has some now. He's no different from how the prophets were tortured and harmed, just like Jesus was. Jesus was harmed by his people, and people denied him and refuted him, and they even tried to crucify him. Okay, so... And Mormonism, oh, okay. and Mormonism the guy says the same. Okay, so... He said he saw an uh, angel as well. So, so... Okay, so his enemies, his enemies, like he had some real enemies. I'm talking about they were trying to kill him. They were trying to assassinate him. His enemies were trying to get a leg up, leg up on him, trying to kill him, trying to assassinate him. They were spreading rumors about him, everything. Okay, now, you're saying that he married someone who was very young, okay? That's what she was saying. She left. She left. Which is, okay, that's the point. I'll let you explain. Okay. You're saying that this happened, okay. Now, if you're an enemy of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, you're like, yes, ammunition. Look what he just did. He just did something absolutely disgusting, horrible. Ah, I got him. Another reason for me to say that he's not a true prophet of God. Da, 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 da. But that's not what happened. He got ignored because that was a custom at the time. Today, if you go to African countries that are not like predominantly Muslim or whatever, actually Christian countries, and not that they're associated with Christianity, but African countries in villages in India, they're still doing child marriages because that's still a custom amongst them today. For you to go and tell them that that is wrong, that is you putting your Western belief onto their customs, which is not fair to them. So at that time, that was a custom and the practice that took place. His enemies had no problem with it. His enemies found every reason to like dehumanize him, to say all the worst things to him, but they never used that against him. Why? Because that was something that was very common that happened. Please. He didn't do something that was different or not proper. Like, it was just something that took place back then. Today is viewed as taboo because of our minds today, but it was fine back then. So that, that's the answer to it. So I, I don't know why that's such a big problem, but that was the answer. Going back to what you said about Mark, can I just say something about that? But you never answered that question, but you can say something. Hold Muhammad on one second. Had to ask for Hold on one second. Hold on one that second. Means Muhammad had sinned against wow. Allah. Wow. You you have to understand, my bro. Uh, listen, my bro. This is why wow. Jesus is the only wow. sinless one.